Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Bhagavakshna. In this video, I am going to explain in class 10, real number, chapter 1. Okay, so exercise 1.1, it is a CBS syllabus. Okay, AP Andhra Base, new textbook. Okay, 2024 to 25. So, in exercise 1.1, the third question, find LCM and HCM of the following integers by applying the prime characterization method. LCM means what least common multiple. HCF is what highest common factor. So find HCF and LCM of the following integers by applying the prime factorization method. Prime factorization method means what? A number can be write as product of prime factors. Okay. So what is called prime factors? A number having only factors are prime. What is called prime numbers? A number having only two factors. There are one and itself. So what are the examples? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29 and so on. These are the prime numbers. So we can divide with prime numbers. Then their product is called prime factorization method. Okay. First one, they given that 12, 15 and 21. So here, first one, 12, 15, 21. First 12, how we can write? So what is the least prime number? 2, 2, 6, Next 2, 3, ja. next 3, 1. Ja. 15, how to can write? 3, 5, ja. 5, 1. Ja. 21, how to can write? 3, 7, ja. 7, 1. Ja. So here, 12, we can write as 2 into 2 into 3. 15, we can write as 3 into 5. 21, we can write as 3 into 7. So what does asking that? Find LCM and HCM. So, LCM means what? Least common multiple. SF means what? Highest common factor. So, how we can take the LCM and SF in prime factors method? So, SF how we can take? Least common multiple prime factors. So, here how many prime factors are there? 2, 3, 5, 7. In this prime factor factorization of numbers, what is the common prime factor? 3. So, the HCF is what? 3. 3 is a common. Here, 3 is 1 time, 1 time, 1 time. So, the what the list? 1 time of 3. Next, LCM means what? How we can take LCM in prime factors method? Highest multiple of all prime factors. Here, here how many prime factors are there? 2, 3, 5, 7. So, 2 is multiple of 1 times, 2 times. So, LCM is equal to 2 into 2, 3 into 5 into 7. So, 2 2 ja, 4, 4 3 ja, 12, 12 5 ja, 60, 67 ja, 4 20. So, 4 20 is LCM, 3 is HCM. So, HCM 3, LCM 20, 4 20 or, okay, so these are, this is the LCM and SCF of the numbers 12, 15 and 21. Okay, next. Next number is what? 17, 23, 29. Next. 17, 23, 29. Second number. 17, 23, 29. So 17, how you can write? 17 into 1. There is no factors for 17. 1 and 3. 23, 23 into 1. 29, 29 into 1. So HCF is what? 1. What are the common prime factors? Only 1. So, LCM is what? 17 into 23 into 29. So, here we can multiply this all. So, 17 into 23. This one. 17 into 23. 3, 17 is 51. 34. 1, 9, 3. Into again, multiply the 29. So, 9, 81, 35, 2, 18, 7. So, 9, 3, 13, 11. So, for the LCM, 1, 1, 3, 3, 9. 11,339. So, here, SCF, how to get take least common multiple prime factor. Okay, SCF, LCM, how to get take highest multiple of all prime factors. Here, 17, 23, 29. All are prime factors. Okay, next one, third one, 8, 9, 25. So, third one, 
So a how we can write? We can divide with two. So two four ja two two ja. So that is here two into two into into one. Nine how we can write? Three into three. Okay. Twenty five how we can write? Five into five into one. So here what the S here? One. What is the S here? One. Next LCM is. What the common prime factor? Yes. There is no common factor. What is the common factor? One. So next, here, LCM how we can take highest multiple of all prime factors? Two into two into two into three into three into five into five. So two two ja four four two ja eight eight three ja twenty four twenty four three ja seventy two seventy two five ja three sixty three sixty five ja eighteen hundred. So here eighteen hundred is LCM. One is HCF of the numbers eight, nine, twenty-five. Next, given that HCF of three not six, six fifty-seven is nine, find LCM of three not six, six fifty-seven. So here we know that one relation between two numbers and the HCF and LCM is product of two numbers is equal to product of their LCM and HCF. So we know that. We know that LCM into HCF is equal product of two numbers. Product of two numbers. So here, what are the two numbers? Three not six, six fifty seven. So they asking that LCM. So LCM is equal HCF multiplied by another number by divide. So product of two numbers by Product of two numbers by HCF of two numbers. So here, what are the two numbers? Three not six into six fifty seven. So what is the HCF of nine? So nine one ja, nine six ja, nine three ja, nine pro, oh, nine seven ja, nine seven ja sixty three, nine three ja twenty seven. So here, three not six into seventy three. Here yeah, three six ja eighteen three zero zero one three three ja nine seven six ja forty two seven zero zero plus four four seven three ja twenty one so eight three thirteen two so twenty two thousand three hundred thirty three so the LCM of three not six comma six fifty seven is twenty two thousand three hundred thirty eight. Next, check whether six four n can end with a digit zero for any natural number. So, if any number is end with a digit zero, it is multiple of ten, or it is multiple of two and five. So, here they ask that six four n can end with a digit zero. Okay. So, here given number, given number six four n for all n belongs to capital n. So, if n is equal to n, capital n is what natural number. N is equal to one, then six four n is equal to how much six? Six prime fraction is what two into three. Next, n is equal to two, that is six square is equal to thirty six. Six square means six into six, so thirty six. It is end with the digit six. So its prime fraction you can divide with prime numbers. That is here two into two into three into three. So here that is here. Two into three whole square. Two is multiple two times. Three is multiple two times. Next, n is equal three. That is six cube. That is equal to one six. It is end with the digit six. So its prime fraction is also here two into three whole power three. So n is equal four. Six four four. That is one two nine six. It is also end with the digit six. So its prime fraction is two into three whole power four. Next, n is equal to five. That is six four five. That is equal seven seven six. It is also end with the digit six. So its prime factor is two into three whole power five. So here the number six four n is end with the digit six and its prime factor is two and three. So if it is end with the digit zero, its prime factor is two and five. But it is impossible. Why? It is 
Try to finish two and three. So remember six for n for all n belongs to n. That m is end with a digit. End with a digit six and its Try factoration. Try factoration is two and three. Okay. So if it is if six four n is end with a digit digit zero, then its try factoration is then its prime factoration is Prime factoration is two and five. So, but it is impossible. But it is impossible. So here it is end with the digit zero. So then it's prime factoration is two and five. But it is impossible. Why it is end with the digit two and three? Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe our YouTube channel and share with your friends. Thank you.